Let us now take the sixth model from average which is based on finding out the average of consecutive numbers. Let us first understand what do we mean by consecutive numbers. Consecutive numbers are nothing but the numbers which come one after the other. For example, 16, 17, 18 are consecutive numbers or for that matter 29, 30, 31, 32 and so on. These are all consecutive numbers and these numbers in general can be represented as x, x plus 1, x plus 2 and so on. For example, if the first number is x, then the second consecutive number will be x plus 1. The third one will be x plus 2 and so on. Let us take any value in place of x. Let us say x is equal to 12. So the next number will be 12 plus 1 that is 13, 12 plus 2, 14 and so on. So this is how we get a set of consecutive numbers. Similarly, we have something called as consecutive even numbers. Let us understand what does it mean by consecutive even numbers. Now, consecutive even numbers are nothing but the numbers which are even and come one after the other in succession. For example, 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on are consecutive even numbers. And these numbers can be represented as x, x plus 2, x plus 4 and so on. That is, if the first even number is x, then the next one will be x plus 2. The third one will be x plus 4 and so on. Let us take an example. Let us assume x is equal to 6. So the next number will be 6 plus 2, that is 8. Then we have 6 plus 4, 10 and so on. And the last point here is consecutive odd numbers. What are consecutive odd numbers? Consecutive odd numbers are nothing but the numbers which are odd in nature and come one after the other in a sequence. For example, 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on. These are consecutive odd numbers. And these numbers can also be represented as x, x plus 2, x plus 4 and so on. Remember, most of the students have a misconception that consecutive odd numbers should be taken as x, x plus 1, x plus 3 and so on, which is absolutely wrong. Whether the numbers are consecutive odd or consecutive even, they should be represented as x, x plus 2, x plus 4 and so on. The idea here is between any two consecutive odd or any two consecutive even numbers, the difference is 2 and that difference 2 is reflected here, again plus 2, plus 2 and so on. So that is the reason we should always take it as x, x plus 2, x plus 4 and so on. Let us now take an example of consecutive odd numbers. Let us assume x is an odd number. For example, x is 13. So the next number would be 13 plus 2, 15, 13 plus 4, 17 and so on. So friends, this is what is meant by consecutive numbers. We have consecutive numbers like 1, 2, 3 or 12, 13, 14 and so on. Consecutive even numbers like 6, 8, 10 and so on. And consecutive odd numbers like 13, 15, 17 and so on. Now the point here is how do we get the average of consecutive numbers. For example, let us take the consecutive numbers 12, 13 and 14. Now to find out the average of 3 consecutive numbers, we need not add all of them and divide by 3. That is 12 plus 13, 25 plus 14, 39 by 3 which is equal to 13. This calculation is not required. Instead, we can directly say that average of consecutive numbers is always the middle number. For example, in this case, the three numbers which we had were 12, 13 and 14. So without doing this calculation, I can directly say that average should be middle number, that is 13. Similarly, suppose we have consecutive odd numbers like 97, 98 and 99. The average of these three numbers should always be the middle number since they are consecutive in nature. So for consecutive numbers, always the average can be taken as the middle number. Similarly, in case of consecutive even and consecutive odd numbers, the average can be taken as the middle number. For example, if you have to find out the average of 6, 8 and 10, I can directly say that the average will be equal to 8 because that is the middle number out of the given consecutive even numbers. And the average for 13, 15 and 17 should be 15. Similarly, let us say we have consecutive odd numbers as 61, 63, 65, 67 and 69. Now to find out the average of these 5 consecutive numbers, we need not take the sum divided by 5. 
as we have already discussed for consecutive numbers average should always be the middle number and here out of the five numbers the middle number is 65 so we can directly say that the average is 65 so remember that for any type of consecutive numbers whether they are normal consecutive numbers or consecutive even numbers or consecutive odd numbers average will always be the middle number now the second point which we need to understand here is how to find out the average of even number of consecutive numbers for example if you observe in all the cases that we have discussed so far we had odd number of numbers here we have three numbers here we have three numbers here we have five numbers and so on whenever there are odd number of numbers we have a definite middle number and it is easy for us to find out the average but in case if we have even number of consecutive numbers then there is not one middle number so how to find out the average in such a case let us take an example for example, let's say the four consecutive numbers are 97, 98, 99 and 100. Now how to find out the average of these four numbers? As you can see here, we do not have one particular middle number. Instead, we have two numbers which forms the part of middle numbers. That is 98 and 99. So the average for these four consecutive numbers should be taken as the number which comes exactly in between 98 and 99 that is nothing but 98.5 so this is going to be the average for 97 98 99 and 100 similarly let us take this example 12 13 and 14 for these three numbers the average is 13 but in case if we include 11 then the average cannot be taken directly why because we do not have one middle number so in this case again the average should be taken as the average of two middle numbers or the number which comes exactly between 12 and 13 which is nothing but 12.5 likewise in case of consecutive even numbers we have 6 8 and 10 so the average was 8 that is the middle number but if we have 6 8 10 and 12 then the average cannot be taken as 8 in this case the average will be the average of two middle numbers that is the number which comes between 8 and 10 and that number is nothing but 9. So we can say that average of 6, 8, 10 and 12 should be 9. And the same concept is applicable in case of consecutive odd numbers as well. For example, let's say we have another number here that is 71. Now these 6 numbers form a series of consecutive odd numbers. That is 61, 63, 65, 67 and 69 and 71 forms a series of consecutive odd numbers. Now here to find out the average we do not have one particular middle number. So the average should be taken as the average of two middle numbers or the number which comes exactly between the two middle numbers. We very clearly know that the number which comes between 65 and 67 is 66. So I can say that the average of these consecutive odd numbers is 66. So the point here is for any type of consecutive numbers average will always be the middle number. And if there is no one middle number we should take the average of two middle numbers. Let us now take an example based on consecutive numbers that we have just discussed. The question here is sum of three consecutive even numbers is 44 more than the average of these numbers. What will be the highest of these numbers? So as he says we have three consecutive even numbers. We know that consecutive even numbers should be taken as x, x plus 2 and x plus 4. And the question here is sum of these three consecutive numbers is 44 more than the average of these numbers. So sum of these three consecutive numbers will be x plus x plus 2 plus x plus 4. And this sum is 44 more than the average of these numbers. We know that for three consecutive numbers the average should be the middle number. And the middle number here is nothing but x plus 2. So we can say that the sum of these three numbers should be x plus 2 plus 44 as it is 44 more than the average. So very clearly we have taken the given statement that is sum of these three numbers is 44 more than the average. Now by simplifying this equation we get x plus 2 gets cancelled and we have 2x plus 4 equals to 44 from which we can say x is equal to 20. And the question is, what will be the highest of these numbers? Very clearly, out of these three consecutive numbers, the highest number is x plus 4. So we are supposed to find out what is x plus 4. 
we know that x is equal to 20. So, we can say that the highest number will be equal to x plus 4 that is 24. So, the answer for this question will be 24. So, remember that for consecutive numbers always the average should be taken as middle number and that helps us in solving the question faster. Let us now discuss another example based on consecutive numbers. The question here is if the average of 11 consecutive even numbers is 98, what is the highest number? So here the average for 11 consecutive even numbers is given and we are supposed to find out the highest number. To solve this question we need not take all the numbers as x, x plus 2, x plus 4 and so on and waste our time. Instead of that we can simply understand that average for consecutive even numbers should always be the middle number. So with the help of this point let us find out what can be the highest number. If there are 11 consecutive numbers for example A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J and K very clearly the middle number will be the sixth number since we have five numbers in the beginning and five numbers after the sixth number and this sixth number should be the average. So very clearly the sixth number from this 11 consecutive numbers is 98 and the highest number should be the last number that is nothing but the 11th number. Now to find out the 11th number we can simply proceed from the sixth number that is nothing but 98. We know that each of these pair of consecutive numbers will have a difference of 2. And since we have 5 numbers after the 6th number, we can say that the total difference will be 2 into 5, that is 10. So we can say that the 11th number or the highest number will be equal to 98, that is the 6th number, plus 5 into 2, which is equal to 108. 98 is the 6th number and 5 into 2 is nothing but the number of numbers which we have after 6th number and 2 is the difference in between each two consecutive numbers. So we can directly say that the highest number will be 108 without writing any steps. Let us now take another example based on consecutive even numbers. The question here is A, B, C and D are four consecutive even numbers respectively and their average is 65. What is the product of A and D? So as given in the question we have four consecutive even numbers A, B, C and D and the average of these four numbers is 65. Now from the point that we have discussed we know very well that average of consecutive numbers should always be the middle number and here as you can see we do not have any single middle number. So the average should be taken as the average of the two middle numbers or the number which comes exactly between the two middle numbers. As given in the question the average of these four numbers is 65. So very clearly the number which comes exactly between B and C is 65. That means the number B should be the even number which comes immediately before 65 that is 64 and C should be 66. So simply by observation we can say that B and C are 64 and 66 respectively. And, up, and similarly A should be 62 and D should be 68 as these all form four consecutive even numbers. Now the question is what is the product of A and D? We know that A is 62 and D is 68. So the product of A and D should be equal to 62 into 68. So the answer for this question should be 4216. That is nothing but the product of 62 and 68. Let us now look at one of the interesting questions from consecutive numbers. The question here is the sum of 5 consecutive odd numbers is 575. So what will be the sum of the next set of 5 consecutive odd numbers? So as given we have a set of 5 consecutive odd numbers whose sum is 575. Now as discussed 5 consecutive odd numbers can be taken as x, x plus 2, x plus 4, x plus 6 and x plus 8. And the sum of these 5 numbers is given as 575. So we can say that x plus x plus 2 plus, x plus 4 plus, x plus 6 plus, x plus 8 is equal to 575. Now by solving this equation we get 5x plus 2 plus 4 is 6 plus 6 12 plus 8 20 should be equal to 575. That means 
5x is equal to triple 5 and from this x will be equal to triple 1. If x is triple 1, the next number should be x plus 2 that is 113 and then the third number should be 115, fourth number should be x plus 6 that is 117 and the fifth consecutive number should be x plus 8 that is equal to 119. So these are the five consecutive numbers whose sum is 575 and we are supposed to find out the sum of next set of five consecutive odd numbers. So the next set of consecutive numbers that we have after these five numbers will be 121, 123, 125, 127 and 129 and the sum of these numbers will be equal to 625. So we can say that the sum of next set of five consecutive odd numbers is 625. But friends, this is the conventional way of solving the problem and we cannot afford to spend so much time for solving such a silly question. If you are smart, you will get the answer for the same question without writing anything on the paper. Let us take some 5 consecutive odd numbers. For example, let us take 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. See, these are the 5 consecutive odd numbers. 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. And the sum of these numbers be x. Let this sum be x. So as given in the question, the sum of 5 consecutive numbers is 575. We are supposed to find out the sum of next set of 5 consecutive odd numbers. Now if you observe, the next set of consecutive odd numbers here would be 11, 13, 15, 17 and 19. And the point to be noted here is, the difference between the first number in the first set and the first number in the second set is 10. Similarly, the difference between the second numbers of both the sets is again 10. The third number is also 10. Fourth and fifth numbers as well is 10. So as you can see, each number in the second set will be 10 places away from each number in the first set respectively. That Therefore, the difference between each of these pairs is going to be 10. And the total difference will obviously be 10 into 5 that is 50. So instead of writing all these steps, I can simply say that the sum of next set of numbers should be x plus 50. So therefore, here the answer should be 575 plus 50 that is equal to 625. And that is what we have got by following the conventional method. But that is a very lengthy procedure and here we get the answer within a few seconds without writing any step. So understand that the sum of the next set of 5 consecutive odd numbers will be 50 more than the given sum. So that can directly be taken as 575 plus 50 which is equal to 625. So friends, these are the various types of questions that we get from average. Practice well on these questions as these are also useful while solving data interpretation. See you in the next session. Thank you.